As pilots, we know we're responsible for the safety of the passengers we have on board, but we're also responsible for the safety of those we encounter on runways and taxiways. I'm Mark Ward, general aviation pilot and a certified flight instructor. Chino Airport is a general aviation facility with a diverse mix of traffic and pilot experience, including GA aircraft, flight training, helicopters, corporate jets, and historic aircraft. In this video, we focus on three runway safety issues at Chino Airport. Runway incursion hotspots, wrong runway operations, and flight training operations. Over a recent two-year period, Chino experienced 36 runway incursions. 75% of those were caused by pilot deviations, which is well above the national average. You may be thinking, that could never happen to me. But unfortunately, it does happen, and it can just as easily happen to you. Let's take a look at surface risk and best practices you can use at Chino Airport to prevent a runway incursion from happening to you. First, remember that ATC is there for you. If you are ever uncertain, don't hesitate to ask ATC to clarify an instruction or a clearance by using the keywords say again, verify, or confirm. Airfield familiarization is a key factor in the reduction of runway incursions. The Chino Airport Diagram identifies high-risk areas as published hotspots, which emphasizes the importance, even for locally-based pilots, of reviewing and actively using an airport diagram. Due to its challenging runway and taxi configuration, CNO has several hotspots where heightened attention is necessary. After exiting runway 26 left at Taxiway Lima, pilots will encounter hotspot 2. When cleared to cross runway 21, be sure to continue directly westbound remaining on Taxiway Lima. Do not turn right onto runway 21, where you risk entering runway 26 right. After you've crossed runway 21, be sure you correctly identify and turn onto Taxiway Delta or Kilo as instructed by the tower. If you are instructed to use Taxiway Kilo, but instead make the hard right turn onto Delta, the runway 26 right hold lines will approach quickly. At that high energy segment of the runway, a departing or arriving aircraft is less maneuverable to avoid an aircraft that overshoots the hold lines. Hotspots similar to 1 and 3 are common at many airports. Taxiways that lead out of ramps and directly connect to a runway, or where the parallel taxiways of the two intersecting runways cross, can lead to pilots entering the runway if they miss the turn onto their assigned taxiway. Notice when coming out of the ramp on Taxiway Kilo, if you miss the turn onto parallel Taxiway Alpha, you will end up on runway 26 right. Pilots arriving at Chino are also in danger of committing a wrong runway landing. Notice that the runway 26 right threshold is staggered about 2,000 feet west of runway 26 left. To avoid landing on the wrong runway, read back your landing clearance and positively identify the correct runway. CNO is a busy training airport, and tower controllers know that inexperienced pilots can make mistakes. Flight instructors should not wait too long before taking over the aircraft to ensure clearances are adhered to. On solo flights, students should state student pilot on all transmissions to the controller, and should not hesitate to use their pilot and command authority by asking the tower for help or clarification, or by advising unable when necessary. By using these best practices when operating at Chino Airport and by sharing your knowledge with fellow pilots, we can reduce GA runway incursions. Working together, we can all contribute to the safest aviation system in the world. Look, listen, focus. Lives are at stake.